Hiya, welcome to GMB Congress 2015 here in uh, Dublin. A fantastic venue and it's wonderful to have all the delegates under one roof. It's something we've been trying to do for a number of years. It's a real opportunity for people to mix with other colleagues from other parts of the GMB, do some real business and have a bit of a good time as well, celebrating the massive GMB family that we really are. Hi, my name is Mark Adams. I work at Betty Caravans uh, in Bristol. I've been here for 10 years and I've been a member of the GMB Union for maybe seven or eight of those years. And for the last year and a half, two years, I've been a workshop rep representative or a shop steward. Now, why join the union? Well, uh, GMB protects the workers, uh, represents them, helps them out in uh, disciplinaries and grievances, negotiates pay rises. It makes a lot of sense to join the union because you're, you're never alone and you've always got someone there to support you and help you. I just attended the BA Systems uh, Apprenticeship Awards Ceremony in Glasgow. We're on the tall ship, the, the Glen Lee, built in 1896. And really today was about uh, congratulating and appreciating the apprentices who came through and achieved their, their award today in completing their apprenticeship. A number of GMB uh, apprentices involved in this as well. And really, it's a day of uh, appreciating that shipbuilding uh, when you build a, a, sh a ship, you build a very complex product, one of quality, and the skills that are attached to that really can carry these young individuals forward for the next 30, 40 years. Yeah, I've just served my time as a welder in the shipbuilding industry. Um, I've been part of the GMB for three and a half years throughout my time. Um, throughout my time with the company, I've gained many opportunities and many skills that I'm able to develop. If I was to leave the company and uh, progress somewhere else outside of shipbuilding. I've always got the skills that I'll retain throughout my life. GMB members at London Linen are fighting for the London living wage, decent terms and conditions and their rights. They pay us 650 an hour, but we expect them to pay us more, like 950 to us. Like we work hard and they don't pay us sick, sick pay as well. They don't give us I would like them to give us sick pay. But, uh, my rate is uh, not too much, only six pound fifty nine. But I have, we have joined the GMB, uh, and he's, uh, I think, uh, he's a uh, work for uh, everybody, and uh, I think he's gave me lot of money. I think nine pound nearly, and uh, I have request everybody join the GMB. GMB Congress in June 2014 launched a campaign for £10 per hour living wage to provide dignity at work. Marks and Spencer, Next and Amazon have all been GMB targets for a living wage. GMB members who run pubs across the UK are now free of the beer tie and sky high rents thanks to the successful GMB campaign that tamed the pubcos. When, when we began the, the campaign against Carillion in 2011, we made it clear that we were the never back down trade union, that GMB wouldn't go away until we had got victory for our members down there. We've seen off the bullies and the, uh, the corrupt managers who ran the, the racket down there that forced our members to pay bribes in order to get jobs, um, to give gold in order to be able to take holidays. And we've seen those individuals off. It's been a fantastic uh, year. Starting off with our course, our, our wonderful uh, engagement with Unity, the Ceramics Union, both mostly around Stoke. Fantastic union, great history, really, really good people, some of whom you'll meet here at Congress this week. 4,000 members coming into the GMB. Uh, I've been and visited some of them in their workplaces. They're really good membership. They will dovetail with our members in the industry and we'll end up with a much, much stronger union fighting for all, all our members in fine manufacturing. A really good move for both unions. We've been really excited about the progress of Union Line this year. As you know, we set up the business um, a year ago to provide a comprehensive one-stop shop of legal services to all GMB members and their families. This year alone, we've taken over 70,000 calls from members, uh, which is far in excess of what we anticipated. Our members feel really happy that they can pick up the phone and call one number and immediately speak to a qualified person with expertise in the area they're concerned about. 
they can spend as long as they want on the phone. They they don't feel that they're being timed or have to worry about the cost of the service. Sometimes people call us because they they have a question they probably already know the answer to, but it's just reassuring to talk to an expert and and feel that you've you've had the best advice possible. And we passed an incredible milestone. The GMB now has more women members than it does men, and that's not something I think the founders of the union ever thought they'd be in a position to do. We've grown into areas of the economy where women work, and we've done that quite clearly on the basis that women have such a magnificent role to play in the GMB. So women in society should be treated equally like everyone else. GMB exists to promote equality and to get equality um, for men and women. The backbone of this trade union has always been equality. The GMB currently is doing a fantastic amount of work and has already passed a, a wealth of motions in regards to women's rights and making sure that we embed the quality issues of women and our members throughout our trade union. One of the most serious issues uh, that's been at Congress for a few years now, of course, has been the shameful acts of blacklisting. This year, for the first time, we've actually seen a number of the companies finally admitting their guilt and seeking to make settlement offers to the victims. But I make this point very clear. The GMB started this campaign on the basis that we wanted justice for those blacklisted workers. And we'll continue with this campaign. We will not be frightened or intimidated by any employer. We will continue with this campaign until that justice is delivered. We at the GMB will continue fighting until every single manager named and shamed recognises what they have done with the blacklisting and publicly apologises to every single individual. The GMB will continue on fighting until the end, until we get all compensation on all fronts. I've worked in the NHS for, for over 20 years. I believe that the GMB are one of the few unions that campaign. We've got to make sure that this is given awareness that the privatisation of the NHS is happening. People don't believe that companies are sneaking in by the back doors and taking over the profitable businesses. Uh, if we're not careful, we'll end up pre-48, before Nye Bevan invented the NHS, and we, you'll only be able to have health care if you can afford it. We need it to be for all, free at the point of entry. And as Nye Bevan said, while there are folks and GMB and other things that will fight for it, with the faith to fight for it, it will survive. We're being mistreated, um, misguided, and, and so we've got to do something about it. It's, it's a lot, this is the last resort. We try to, I mean, my unions try to negotiate different things. So it's a last resort. I would advise anyone, like, if, if you're not in a union, like to join the GMB, because the GMB are the union that really care, and they're the union that really take forward your argument, like, and, I, and uh, you know, fight for you, like we are today. Yeah, don't yeah. be scared. Don't be scared, yeah. Don't be scared anything. You fight the right thing. If you know somebody, you know, you just terminate for you, you fight it. Don't be scared. Just for your right. The other day, a Unison member came up to me and asked me what the GMB stands for. So I asked her, like, what do you think? She went to me, got more balls. I hope you have a fantastic uh, week. Plenty of good debate, plenty of uh, argument. You learn a bit. You meet some old friends, meet up again with old friends. You meet some new friends. And maybe an odd bit, you know, you're, uh, you're in Ireland, maybe there'll be one or two of us who just might partake an odd glass of Guinness. Whatever you do, can I just thank you for being part of the GMB family?